Republican Congressman Matt Gates made good on his threats last night, filing a resolution to oust Speaker Kevin McCarthy. The gentleman will state the form of his resolution. Declaring the office of Speaker of the House of Representatives to be vacant, resolved that the office of Speaker of the House of Representatives is hereby declared to be vacant. Gates filed the motion after McCarthy worked with Democrats to pass a stopgap funding bill against the wishes of a small faction of right-wing Republicans. So Nicole Killian has been following this for us from Washington, and she is here to discuss. We thought, you know, the fireworks were over after the stopgap measure was passed. Absolutely not. Um, Nicole, you know, tell us how we got here. I was kind of struck when I heard uh, McCarthy say over the weekend that he felt like this was personal between him and Gates, and I wondered what he meant by that. So a couple of things. I mean, keep in mind, a lot of this stems from the speaker fight that we had at the beginning of the year. Uh, back then, uh, Matt Gates uh, did not support uh, Speaker McCarthy, but also you'll recall there was a lot of negotiations and deals that were allegedly cut in order for the speaker to ultimately emerge victorious. And so, uh, you know, what Gates is alleging is that he feels that Speaker McCarthy has broke some of those agreements to members, particularly around the issue of fiscal spending. You know, he's upset, that, for instance, that he worked with Democrats on this temporary spending bill, that he needed Democratic votes to push it through. Uh, he also is accusing the Speaker of cutting some side deal with the President for more Ukraine funding. That's something both the Speaker and the White House have denied. And then layered on top of all of that is that Congressman Gates is also under investigation. He was under a federal investigation, but was cleared, but also is still under an ethics investigation in the House. So that also is complicating matters. And so that's why a lot of people feel this is just really bad blood between these mm. two. Uh, again, in terms of Congressman Gates, he's tried to knock that down. But the speaker has said he does think it's personal. Uh, and he does think that, uh, you know, if Gates wants to bring this resolution on, he's ready for it. So everything that I've read about this says... Under current House rules, a single member can initiate this process. And it made me wonder, were there other rules before where, you know, one person couldn't do this? And then, though under current rules that's the case, my part B to that, is there enough support beyond Gates to push this forward? Well, again, that motion to vacate just requiring one person, any one person can force a vote. Again, that was a term that came out of that speakership fight mm. earlier this year. So, you know, McCarthy one agreed point. To that. Correct. And that was something that he agreed to in order to win the speakership that anyone at any given time, Republican or Democrat, could try to force him out. And so this is really the first time that we are seeing Congressman Gates make good on that pledge. Now, one thing that's important to note is that even though this procedural mechanism exists, no speaker has ever been removed in the history of the Congress. So if this were to happen, it truly would be unprecedented. Um, quick question overnight. Uh, Texas Congressman uh, Henry Cuellar was carjacked at gunpoint. Uh, how's he doing? What do we know about this? Well, according to his chief of staff, he is okay, but it appears he was trying to park his car last night in a neighborhood not far from uh, Capitol Hill here. He was approached by a series of armed men and turned his vehicle over. But uh, it does, again, kind of raise this narrative of, you know, crime in cities across the country. Uh, and this also isn't the first time that we have seen members of Congress kind of impacted uh, by, you know, these types of events. So again, the congressman is okay, but uh, certainly kind of rattled a lot of folks here on the Hill last night. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm glad he's okay, at least. Nicole, thank you. You bet.